Hi, I'm Dr. Asit Arora, Senior Consultant Surgical Gastroenterology and GI Oncosurgery at Dharamshila Narayana Super Speciality Hospital, New Delhi. Today we're going to talk about pancreatic cancers. Pancreas is an organ which secretes insulin and some digestive enzymes and it is located inside your tummy in the upper part of your abdomen beneath the stomach. Now cancer of pancreas is uh, one of the most lethal cancers which can affect the human body. It usually affects in elderly about in 60s or 70s but we see uh, more of young people being affected nowadays. Common symptoms of pancreatic cancers is usually pain abdomen which radiates to the back, weight loss, distaste to food and loss of appetite and jaundice. Any patient who experiences any such symptom should immediately consult an expert for further evaluation. Why does cancer of pancreas happen? So most of these cancers are de novo, that is they just origin out of nothing, it just happen. But there are some factors which make you more susceptible to cancer and some of the proven ones is smoking. Another thing is uh, some of the patients are genetically more susceptible to have these cancers. So certain diseases like familial pancreatitis or diseases like uh, FAP, they are these patients are more susceptible to pancreatic and uh, ampullary cancers. For the evaluation of uh, these tumors, an expert will uh, generally recommend an ultrasound to begin with, along with uh, the test of your liver, that is your liver function test, and certain tumor markers like CA19-9. The main workhorse of the evaluation of pancreatic cancer is CT scan of the abdomen, which tells us in great detail about the location of the tumor and the extent of the tumor. Treatment of pancreatic cancer usually depends upon the stage of the disease. And broadly, we can divide pancreatic cancers for the treatment purpose into early pancreatic cancers, locally advanced pancreatic cancers, or metastatic pancreatic cancers. So in diseases in the last stage, that is the metastatic pancreatic cancer, which one in which pancreas is spread to the other part of body, we can only give chemotherapy to these patients. And in, in these uh, circumstances, unfortunately, patients do not have a very good survival. Some of the fortunate patients who come to us in early stage, uh, surgery can be curative for these patients and it can give a good meaningful survival to these patients. The surgery that is required to treat pancreatic cancer is usually a very uh, a, a large and a complex surgery which uh, entails uh, removing a part of your pancreas along with a part of your stomach, a small intestine and bile ducts and gallbladder and it requires a complex reconstruction. Traditionally these surgeries has been done by open technique in which we give a large incision on your abdomen and perform this surgery but nowadays of late in experts hands and in selective centers like us we perform these surgeries by laparoscopic method uh, in which we make small holes in your tummy and perform these surgeries laparoscopically. The advantage of laparoscopic surgery is that it gives enhanced recovery, uh, it's less painful and it is cosmetically better and in long term it gives the similar results as the open technique. So any person who has symptoms which suggest pancreatic disease or any person who is diagnosed with pancreatic cancer should seek an appointment with an expert at an earliest date. Thank you so much.